Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. Did you know there are over 700,000 apps in the Google Play Store? We're all familiar with the more popular ones, but what about those apps that you may never have heard of that are just beautiful or wonderful or do exactly what you wanted it to do, but you've never heard of them? We went searching. This is what we found. So we decided to break this up into a few different categories. The first one that we want to talk about is travel. And the first travel app is called Hotel Tonight. This app comes highly recommended from Michael Fisher, who says he goes into the city, New York City that is, and finds just amazing deals on really high-end hotels at the last minute. There is its catch. You have to wait till the last minute. Another app for travelers is called Traveler by Flight Stats. This is a kind of an all-in-one app that lets you check on flights, your airports, airlines, weather at your destination, a whole bunch of cool stuff, and it looks gorgeous in the process. If you're going somewhere, especially by air, this is the app that you want to have on your phone before you head out. A relatively new app from Google, or Niantic Labs at Google, is Field Trip. This was previously called Scout, but what it does is once you're at your location, this lets you use the geo coordinates that you're sending in your phone, your GPS, to be able to find all kinds of really cool points of interest that are around you that you may not have known about otherwise. Now these points of interest range from anything, architecture, games, lifestyle, museums, works of art, all kinds of neat stuff. And if you're into the game Ingress, you've even got a uh, little portal detector included in here as well. Moving out of travel tools, let's go into general tools and I want to start with an app called Naked Browser. No, this isn't something that you can search for stuff that you probably shouldn't, shouldn't be searching for. This is a browser that's very fast, very responsive, and, well, doesn't have a lot of Chrome around it. What do I mean by Chrome? I'm not talking Chrome the browser, I'm talking, look, there aren't any buttons, there aren't any tabs, there aren't any anything, they're all kind of hidden down here behind the menu button. That's how you get to do whatever you need to do in there. By doing that, it saves your screen real estate and it helps the browser be significantly faster than a lot of other browsers that you might otherwise use. Let's move into entertainment and games. The first thing to show you is called Google Currents. This has been out forever. It essentially is a news aggregator, an RSS reader that makes your stories look gorgeous. It's very, very much like uh, like a magazine, great big glossy pictures, kind of offloaded for uh, for offline use, so you don't have to be connected except to pre-populate the stories. Very nice. You've got your stuff right with you. Not an RSS aggregator in the traditional sense, but very very pretty. Rise of Glory is a World War One fight combat simulator. It's fun. It's simple. It's pretty, and it runs on a wide variety of hardware. This is something that, if you need to while away some time, this is the app that you're going to want to do it with. Last is Ingress. Ingress we mentioned back when we were talking about Field Trip. This is a game that's kind of like a, uh, well, a geocaching scavenger hunt. Team Capture the Flag, Defend the Fortress. I really don't know how to describe it, but it's ridiculously addictive. What you're trying to do is find these points of interest that Google calls portals in-game. You have to capture them, upgrade them, protect them, link them, all kinds of cool stuff, but you've got to go back to them again and again and again. By doing that, Google, through the Niantic Labs project, is collecting travel and transit information to get to those points of interest so that they can make their points of interest database that much bigger and that much more useful. We've got even more that we didn't include in the video over at the article on pocketnow.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I'll have a link to that article right down at the bottom. If you liked what you saw in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay up to date, you'll want to follow us on Twitter. Our official user account over there is at pocketnowtweets. I'm at Joe Levi. If you'd like to follow me for Pocket Now, showing off apps that you never knew were out there, but you probably always wanted to have. Thanks for watching.